Hi, welcome to Physionic. In this piece of content, we will be investigating how much resistance training, weightlifting, is necessary to maintain muscle mass after gaining muscle over time from resistance training in younger and older lifters. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. This data is provided by a study that I will have linked for you as well as my notes and any amendments that may follow this content's publishing. Briefly, how did the researchers probe this particular question? They had 53 participants which were untrained split between two ages, 20 to 35 as the younger group and 60 to 75 as the older group. All participants underwent a structured, supervised resistance training program for 16 weeks. After training for 16 weeks, they were split into three groups based on age. So each condition had a younger group and an older group for comparison. Condition one was instructed to cease all resistance exercise for the duration of the study called the detraining condition. Condition two was instructed to continue one third of their previous workload, training only once a week instead of three called the one third volume condition. Finally, the condition three was instructed to continue only one ninth of their previous workload, training once a week while also decreasing the work done within that one session, called the one ninth volume condition. After eight months of each condition, participants were assessed for muscle loss. Now, what did the researchers find? Here, you're seeing muscle size at baseline, so pre-training. Then, after 16 weeks of training, then again assessed another 16 weeks later following each respective condition at the 32-week mark. And then again at the 48-week mark, marking eight months for each condition, detraining one-third volume or one-ninth volume in young and older participants. Clearly, training increases muscle size in both age groups. No surprise there, but a necessary time point nonetheless. Unsurprisingly, detraining, so no resistance training, leads to loss of gained muscle back to baseline levels for both age groups. However, in the one-third volume condition, younger participants not only maintained muscle, but gained after 16 weeks, then maintained at the 48-week mark. There was, however, a decrease Increase back to baseline in the older group. Interestingly, the one ninth volume group showed similar results, meaning older individuals lose their gained muscle back to baseline, but younger individuals maintained their muscle. This is compelling evidence of a few things. One, ceasing training reduces muscle to baseline. No surprise there. However, secondly, doing as little as one ninth of initial resistance training maintains muscle mass in younger individuals, but not in older individuals. So this tells us that a younger population that has been lifting and has grown muscle can maintain it with extremely low amounts of volume with a maintained intensity, meaning you can cut your amount of sets performed dramatically as long as you maintain the weight lifted per set. However, older populations need to maintain the same amount of volume that got them their results in the first place. So I hope that this proved informative and useful. And with that said, I hope to have the absolute pleasure of speaking with you in the near future. Cheers. Okay.